If you are looking at buying or leasing a new car, it could be a midsize sedan like the Hyundai Sonata N-Line or a coupe SUV like this BMW X6 M60i. Whatever type of car you're looking at, I can help by curating a customized list of vehicle recommendations that fit your needs. Visit drakemoscow.com forward slash buying a car to see how I can help you find a new car. The Hyundai Sonata has been facelifted for the 2024 model year, continuing Hyundai's trend of rapid and radical redesigns. This company just keeps on pushing out design after design after design after design, all of them unique and all of them challenging the mundane design updates we see from other OEMs. I quite like the look of this new Sonata. It has some design elements from the new Hyundai Kona with its thin light bar that runs the full width of the front of the vehicle, but it also has a lot of design elements that are unique to Sonata. Most notably are these checkered flag taillights that you get around back. I think those look really cool. And these quad exhausts on the N-Line trim level. Now, speaking of the trim level N-Line, unlike say the Hyundai Kona, where the powertrain found in N-Line is the same as the powertrain found in the top of the line Limited, the Sonata N-Line uses an exclusive powertrain. This is a 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder, making 290 horsepower and 311 pound feet of torque. No other Sonata trim level uses this powertrain and it produces over a hundred more horsepower than every other Sonata powertrain, the base and the hybrid powertrains respectively, which make about 191, 192 horsepower. So 290 horsepower is a big boost over the Sonata's other engine options. Other N-Line upgrades over regular Sonatas include an eight-speed dual clutch transmission, which is pretty cool to see in the mid-size sedan, and these 19-inch rims, which sport an N logo in the center. I think these rims look really good and help fill up the wheel wells on this car nicely. Moving inside we find that it wasn't just the exterior that was updated for the 2024 model year but there has also been a refresh to the inside there are now dual 12.3 inch screens under a single pane of glass very reminiscent to mercedes last generation uh, infotainment system and instrument cluster but they look really good in this sonata the uh, native system is really easy to use for both infotainment system and instrument cluster and the infotainment system does full screen wireless apple carplay and android auto which looks really good you also have hyundai's new logo list steering wheel although there is a little n logo at the bottom their new column mounted gear selector where you push forward for drive pull back for reverse and push in for park a clean climate control setup which uh, you get physical controls to adjust the temperature and things like that although the buttons to actually like increase the fan speed turn on the automatic stuff those are all touch sensitive which i don't really like i would have preferred these to be remain physical buttons but you do have a few physical buttons for navigation and for things like your volume which you can also control on the steering wheel you also get a panoramic sunroof on this n-line trim level which is really good a cool a good amount of storage and here in the back of the sonata n-line i actually do fit behind myself i am pretty impressed i have plenty of knee room foot room and when i sit upright my head does brush against the ceiling but i can fit i could sit back here for a pretty long journey no problem if we fold down this center armrest we will find a couple of cup holders. There's dual USB-C charging outlets. There's only a single map pocket behind the passenger seat, a little bit of storage, but overall it's pretty comfortable back here. I actually do fit again, pretty impressed by that, especially with the sloping roof trend that we're finding on modern sedans in order to increase efficiency and improve the looks of the car. Uh, rear seat headroom has become compromised even in a midsize sedan, but there are nice cutouts in the roof, even though this has a panoramic sunroof, in order for me to fit. I'm six foot two, and I do like that the suede and leather combination of the seats continues into the second row. Driving the Hyundai Sonata N-Line, I am very impressed by how this car drives, and it starts with how quiet and comfortable it is in this cabin. Now, last week I was driving a Cadillac Lyric, and that's an $83,000 electric luxury car. Um, compact crossover that's a very different vehicle than this car that was definitely a little quieter than this vehicle but for the price for being a mid-size sedan costing $36,000 it is really really quiet in here there are some luxury cars that I have driven that don't match this car this Sonata in terms of how quiet and isolated you feel from the road that you're driving on. It's really impressive how premium they were able to make this cabin feel. And it's also aided by the suspension. We are riding on 19 inch rims in this Sonata N-Line that look really good. I really do love how the whole exterior of this car looks and in particular the rims. They're 19 inches, which would normally mean that the ride isn't quite as nice. Uh, greater looks lead to less comfort. It's, it's true with shoes and it's true with cars normally, but the 
the damping of this car is really nice. You feel bumps and you can get some jolts into the cabin, but on the whole, it is really well dampened and the, it, the car rides really nicely. I'm very impressed by how this car rides. And the next thing you really notice about this car is the power. 290 horsepower in a midsize sedan is kind of hard to find these days and it's a really healthy amount of power. I drove this car up from Los Angeles to just north of San Francisco and in that time I never felt that the car was underpowered. All the times I was passing semis, trying to get around slower moving traffic or merging onto the freeway, didn't have a single issue with this car. I took a Honda Accord Hybrid which has a 204 horsepower uh, hybrid setup. Uh, on that same drive and there were definitely instances with the Accord that I felt the car needed a little more get up and go. This car has that and it's really impressive um, that it just it has effortless power. I put my foot down and I mean it's not gonna like really push you into the back of your seat but you are gonna pick up to highway speeds really easily. You're never gonna have to be worried about having too much power. And if I put the car into sport mode, it will hang on to higher RPMs, the steering gets a bit heavier, and the car overall just becomes a bit more dynamic, really putting the N in N line. Super fun car to drive on a windy road like this, but also super comfortable, again, on the freeway. Another thing I really love about this Sonata N-Line are these seats. I find the driver's seat very comfortable, and it is power adjustable. Not only do you have adjustable lumbar support, which is always nice to find in a, you know, a more pedestrian economy car. Sometimes they skip out on that, Hyundai did not. But it also has adjustable side bolsters, so you can inflate and deflate the side bolsters to your present, to your preference and when you have them fully inflated they really do a good job hugging you in place as you go around corners i really like that the this hyundai sonata again thirty six thousand dollars has adjustable side bolsters i find that really impressive and overall this cabin is just super comfortable you have automatic dual zone climate controls heated seats no cooled seats in this end line with these kind of suede seats but uh heated you have full screen wireless apple carplay and Android Auto, which looks really good on this 12.3 inch uh, infotainment system. You have another 12.3 inch screen that houses your uh, virtual digital instrument cluster. Looks really good. Very simple. I think Hyundai has a great UI um, for their native system. And then CarPlay also looks great. Hyundai is one of the brands that will be doing fully integrated Apple CarPlay eventually, whenever that comes out. Super excited for that to come out. And I love that they are fully embracing CarPlay. And then when you put your foot down, you know, it is quick and it gets up to speed really quick, but I wouldn't really describe it as very fast. It is more of a quick car than a fast car. And another thing I don't absolutely love about this car is how the engine sounds. This 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder, it is, it groans a lot. It doesn't really have a, a growl or a gurgle to it. There's also not a lot of uh, crackles and pops from downshifts or anything like that. Uh, not that I can hear at least. Not my favorite sounding exhaust. Would have liked a little more aggressive of a sound coming from those quad exhausts on this end line, uh, but it is definitely fast enough. Steering wise, I wish it was a little faster in sport mode. I'm a fan of pretty heavy steering and it gets a little heavier in sport mode, but not heavy enough for my preference. It's also not as direct as I would have liked. I would have liked a little quicker steering ratio on this vehicle, especially because this is the end line. Um, I think some other cars I've driven recently, I mean, I was, I've been in a lot of sports cars recently, like BMW Z4, Ford Mustang, those definitely had faster steering. Uh, I would have liked that, especially when you pop it in, uh, pop it into sport mode, would help it make it, would help make it feel a little more dynamic. The chassis also definitely can handle the 290 horsepower, uh, but it does lean a bit in the bends. It is really nice to have these side bolsters, uh, to hold you, the driver in place. Uh, but the car, the chassis is leaning a bit. If I push the car into these corners, it's not quite as flat as I would have hoped from a, you know, I know this is a performance light vehicle. It's an N line, not an N. I'd love to see the new Sonata N. That car would be incredible. But for this N line, I would have liked it to be just a little stiffer maybe. I think that would help make this car feel a bit more athletic. But on the whole, 
what a good job Hyundai did with this car. So that's the 2024 Hyundai Sonata N-Line. Hyundai made a lot of good improvements to a car that was already really good. I love the new looks both outside and in, and I think the car is really premium in the way it drives. It's both very comfortable and very quiet, and it's 290 horsepower powertrain from this Sonata N-Line is really enough to make you have a lot of fun and never feel like the car is underpowered. But if you want a little more efficiency, there's also the Sonata Hybrid, which gets 47 mpg. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.